something quite awkward and negative is happening between men and women nowadays, more than ever, I would say. If you see the relationship between men and women in all senses, not only husband and wife, but I speak about society in general, at the working place between children and mothers, children and fathers, men and women in general are suffering a relationship crisis never seen before. These two, who have been created to be partners, each other's partners, when God created the woman, he created her to be the partner of the man and for men to take a good care of her because when God created woman, he made sure that that would be his last creation so that the man could see that there was none like her in all the creation. She didn't find another creature like the woman was supposed for him to value her, to think there is none like this one. I will take a good care of her. What is happening in the world today is unprecedented. The way women and men are seeing each other and dealing with each other. I will mention three actions that are happening between men and women. Pay attention if that is not happening to you, men, you, woman, concerning the opposite sex. Whether you are single or married, every Men and every woman has come from a woman, and all of us, we interact with the opposite sex in many situations. Let us see if you're going through one of these three actions that are causing and separation between men and women, and a great hostility for them and for society in general. So let's go for the first manifestation of this problem that we've observed. And not only three, but I will speak about only three, but there are more. I will speak about the three main ones. The first one is happening is the matter in regards to competition. Men and women have become competitors to the point that in their marriage, often the husband is unsatisfied with the woman's success. If the woman is a little more successful than he is, he wants to be better than her and vice versa. Often, the woman sees her husband's success and does not accept to stay in a position of support below him. She wants to be as successful in her career financially and not to be in a position of support. And this has caused a severe problem in relationships. Marriage should be the union of two people, two forces, two pockets, two accounts, the union of all this, one rooting for the other. Therefore, if one is well, the other is also well, because the two are one. But today, this has yet to be the case in many marriages. If the husband has a career and earns money, the woman wants to be as successful and earn as much money as he does. If she does not do that, she's left behind. She's depending on the man. And this is a serious problem. Men, at times, does not want woman to have the success that she can have because he feels threatened by her success, competition, that what should be a partnership, has become a competition. I don't see in Christiani a competitor, quite the contrary. Thank God I've never had this problem in my marriage, even when we had problems. This was not one of those of competition. I always wanted to invest on Christiane to show her potential because I'm not 
A fool. If my woman grows, if my woman develops, I develop too. I'm not a fool. She's not my enemy, my competitor. She's my partner. So if she goes well, I also go well. We are a team, and every team to win wants all the members of the team to go well. So it's important for you women, you men, who see yourself like this, you see yourself as competitor or your partner, as a competitor of yours, that you may stop with this action that is so harmful to your relationship that is going to end up killing, and it has been killing many marriages. Many marriages have ended because of this. So, competition. Instead of competition, think about partnership. Join forces instead of competing against each other. Another action that has been harmful towards men and women is the indifference. What is indifference? It's one of the most poisonous. Because while you are in the first problem, you have your eyes on the other. You pay a lot of attention to the other. They are your competitor. At least you are paying attention to them in everything they do. Indifference is the opposite. You want to eliminate that person from your life. And how many women today treat men with indifference? I don't need a man is a phrase in many women's mouths. I don't need a man. I don't need a man to be a mother. I don't need a man to be pregnant. I only need their sperm. They go to the sperm bank. But I don't need to be in a relationship with a man. I don't need a man to support me financially. And how many men do the same? Treat women with indifference, with the action. There are more women out there. If you're not happy, leave. There are many women in this world. Many women would like to be with me etc. They treat their wife with indifference, women with indifference. As you know, the way that we are treated, we end up treating the other person. If we don't think and reason, we end up paying back with the same treatment that we received. So many men are returning this behavior of being ignored by women treating women with indifference. And this indifference is one of the things that hurts the most. Sometimes the person lives inside the same house and ignores the other. The husband ignores his wife, ignores what she says, her opinion does not count, her tastes and desires are annoyances, so he lives his life ignoring his wife and thinking, oh, she will adapt. If I ignore her enough, she will end up accepting. And this has also been a great poison in relationships, indifference towards the opposite sex, the solo life. Many men and women trying to go rogue and live solo. This indifference has been a great problem to relationships. And the last action is the adversarial, to be an enemy. The person begins to look at the opposite sex as an enemy. So it's no longer indifference, it's hostility. Man is no good. Man only wants to use you. Man only wants you to do their chores. Man is no good. So they look and men with hostility. Men look at women and say, women only want money. Women just want to take advantage of you. Women will deceive you, use you. They will use their beauty, their feelings or your feelings towards her against you. Women are evil. People who have been hurt by previous relationships they have held this position of hostility and they start to fight against the opposite sex. So all this that is happening 
between men and women have been causing this social crisis that we are living in. This social crisis to the point that people do not know their own identity. That's why there's a rebellion even against gender. There's a rebellion. There are those who say, I'm not a man anymore, I'm not a woman anymore, I was born a man, but I'm no longer a man. There's a rebellion because they mistreat each other to the point that they don't accept their own identity and they want to take another identity. How can this be solved? How can this be solved? As like in the maths, Let's go back then to the original plan, to the master plan. When the maths, the equations are not going well, you need to go to the beginning of the equation. The beginning of the problem is back then. When God created men and women, he made them partners. Change your eyes towards the opposite sex. Change your feelings towards the opposite sex. Try, instead of seeing the other as a competitor, but to see them as a partner. Instead of treating them with indifference, pay attention to them. Value the difference that is in the person. They are different to you, but it does not mean that they are better or worse. They have their role. Instead of seeing the other as an adversary, try to be friends of each other. Differences should not separate us. They can add and together to make us better than alone. I learned this in my marriage and today, Christiane and I, we are way better together. Our value is way greater together than when before we were alone. I'm passing on to you what I learned. If you men, you women, accept this then I'm certain that your life and your relationships will be way better. If this message has helped you, and if either you know a man or a woman who will benefit from it, so pass it along if you haven't subscribed to the channel, so do so, and for you to always be attentive to the new content and activate the bell for you to receive all the videos. See you next time.